my, I can't breathe. Here we go. Okay. All right, family hug. Well, this is it. Um, my music's sort of everything to me, so please don't touch. Cool? Like ever. It's extremely important to me that you acknowledge this interaction. Ninety-five point seven WBUJ music for the independent mind. Hey. Hi. Have you been standing there long? No. No, I just got here. I wasn't just standing here. Freshman aren't allowed in the booth. Sorry. I'm Luke, station manager. You must be Becky, the intern? Um, it's, uh... Hey, man, what's up? I'm Jesse. I'm Luke. You're late. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. He doesn't. Totally know her. Okay, cool. Well, you guys can figure it out while you're stacking CDs. When you're done, there's more. Now, you guys will be spending a lot of downtime together, so please, just no sex on the desk. I've been burned before. I do know you. I sang to you. I remember because you were in a taxi. Wait, is your dad a taxi driver? No. Oh, okay. And here is a sick track by DJ CJ. Like what you're hearing, you Luke's attractive, huh? Excellent yeah. bone structure, fancy British accent, really cool tattoos. I think we just met my nemesis. This sucks. I wanted to play music. Not me. I'm here for one reason only. I really love stacking CDs. I was actually offered a job at a lab that tests the effects of marijuana on your appetite, but I was like, no, I want to stack CDs, you know? Like, hopefully in the vicinity of a semen smear desk, because that is definitely what happened here, right? Too bad I don't have my black light, then we'd know for sure. So what's your deal? You one of those girls who's all dark and mysterious, and she takes off her glasses and that amazingly scary ear spike, and you realize that, you know, she was beautiful the whole time? I don't wear glasses. Then you're halfway there. You're a weirdo. Yeah, I am, and so are you. It's a good thing we're gonna be best friends and or lovers. Please don't say lovers. You know, I wouldn't pass this up. Once I'm in trouble, I probably won't have any time for you. Wow. No, I didn't think there was a way for you to be less attractive to me, but congratulations, you've managed it. Just wait. You'll go all squiddy, drape yourself all over me. It'll be fun. You'll see. Becca, wake up. Funny, this doesn't look like your intro to philosophy class. I'm posing an important philosophical question. If I don't actually go to that class, will it still suck? It's actually pretty clever, but it's not the point. College is, it's great. You get to create memories here. I see it every day. You just have to give it a chance. You've been here, what, a, a month now? Do you have any friends? Kimmy Jen is my friend. No. You gotta get out there, Beck. You gotta try something. I got a job at the radio station. Oh, great, that place. It's dark and dirty and has like, what, those three weirdos who work there? Well, four now. You gotta try something new, Beck. And if, at the end of a year, you still don't wanna be here, you still wanna go off to LA and be P. Diddy, well then, you can quit college. And I, I will help you move to LA. Seriously? Yes, seriously. But I really need to see it, Becca. This is college. Join in. Well, 
well, well, well, look who's in treble. Classic pun. I know. Oh, Benji? These are your treble jackets. We wear them when we perform on stage. And in bed, also. It means you're one of us, a brother, forever. Wow, I don't know what to say. I will never lose this, man. You totally can. We've got hundreds. It's not a big deal. Mm, it's a pretty big deal. Kind of a big deal. So, I don't like it when you undermine me, okay? Sorry. All right, time for you to prove your treble loyalty by getting stupid drunk and committing a minor felony. Vandalism is fun. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Every year the tone hangers try and party with us on initiation night, and every year we mess up their van. When are these losers gonna realize you should stop singing a cappella after college? There's some things you should stop doing before you start looking sad. <laughs> totally, man. Can we fire him? Yeah. <laughs> no. His pecs attract the female demo. Click on Guy Pukes on Cat. Enough! It happens. It's over. Now, this is how we will become champions. First things first, we need a vocal percussionist. Does anyone here know how to beatbox? Yeah, I do. I'm um, the best beatboxer in Tasmania with hair. Okay, I'll give you a demo. Dogs and cats and dogs and cats. Dogs and cats and blah, blah. Oh, explosion! So, oh, explosion. All the animals are dead. What? That would be a no. We will practice every day for at least two hours, seven days a week, and I trust you will add your own cardio. Why cardio? Yeah, no, don't put me down for cardio. Okay, moving on. This is a list of all of the songs that we have ever performed, and you will notice that we only do songs made famous by women. There's nothing from this century on here because we don't stray from tradition. Our focus is on perfecting our repertoire, which is why we are the best all-female group in the country. Now, let's start with some vocal warm-ups, practice scales, followed by arpeggios, and then work our way up to choreography. Any questions? Yeah, I think you said SpaghettiOs and I'm starving. When's lunch? Arpeggios. When is lunch, though? God help. Because you can't see him. Well, I actually am. Hey, man. Hey. Here to help out? Yeah, I'm ready to tag in. Nice. Hey, dude. You are not allowed in the pool. So. I know. I just really wanted to hear myself in the sweet spot! The acoustics in here are ridiculous. All right, I'll see you after. Bumper. Win it for, win it for everyone. Okie doke. Welcome to the rip -off! Jesse! Our 17th annual singing competition, Elimination Style! The winners get the greatest prize of all, the microphone used by a hoobastank when they rocked out at the Schnee Performing Arts Center. <laughs> to win, you must steal the song from the other group by picking off a word that they are singing and make it the first word of your song. This is really intricate. It is. It's true. Oh, it's it's if you can't think of a song, you are cut off. If you repeat a song, you are Cut off. And most of all, if you suck, you are cut off. Who's ready to get vocal? I would like to wish all the competitors a lot of luck. Wish I was born different, and I wish I had an ounce of talent. Oh, anyways.
are not allowed to use the toilet in the bus after eating this because it is going to be straight explosive. I could eat these every day. You do. do. Jinx, jinx, bitch. Double, Double jinx. jinx. Buy, Buy me a Coke. Coke. Holy, Holy crap. crap, call Guinness. Guinness. Shit! Oh my god! Please don't do that in front of girls. Please. I am begging you. Can I hitch a ride? I take my car, but I'm trying to cut back on my carbon footprint. Benji, I'm sorry, but I think only troubles are allowed to ride the bus. It's pretty much a rule. Of course. <laughs> Good luck tonight. Yeah, thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's roll, Benji! <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, I'm just done with those girls. Oh, oh, she's with me. Music is music, but that uh, the a cappella stuff is just upsetting. Yeah, when it's done right, it's actually pretty great. Um, great is what you're doing. Listen, uh, spring break in the booth, I want you to do the night shift. I play your own music. Or do whatever you want, but the booth's all yours, Becky. It's Becca. What? My name's not Becky, it's Becca. Well, that's weird, why don't you say anything? I don't know. Why did you decide to play my music anyway? Well, I finally listened to it because Jesse kept bugging me. And I thought it was solid. He's a relentless kid. So I'm gonna go hang. Are you gonna be alright looking after yourself? Yeah. What's this here now? <gasps> hey, Dad. Hey. No one was more surprised than me, but I really liked those weirdos. And you, uh, you thought quitting was the answer? Really? You're gonna talk to me about the sanctity of commitment? Oh, come on, Beck. That isn't fair. You left us. You left me. <sighs> yep, you're right, I did. It was not my finest moment. But I worked so hard to make things right between us. I, I, I saw you as much as I could. I called, I learned how to text. But you, you just shut me out. Yeah, well, I shut everybody out. Don't take it personally. It's just easier. It's also really lonely. Look, Beck, the day I left you, that was the saddest day of my life. I should have... I'm still trying to make it up to you. It's probably why I'm, I'm so stingy about you going to L.A. So, if that's what you really want to do, you go to L.A. I'll support you. What do I do? Well, that's up to you. <laughs>